Gloria Esteban. Gloria Esteban. Carmela, that was an appropriate speech for an appropriate day. That speech was wonderful. It caught my emotion, and then looking around at everyone else, it caught their emotion too. You know, I have a poodle, and let me tell you, I don't know if you knew this or not, they are the smartest dogs in the world. Did you know that? Or at least they were classified as one of the smartest dogs in the world. And so I know what you were talking about when you were telling your story. But something that you did really great here is that when you told your story, you could really use your voice. We follow the tenderness of your voice when you're talking about your little poodle all the way to how it felt when you were faced with hearing the news, watching it on television, thinking of the families that were hurt, and then, oddly enough, thinking of the buildings. That was really, really unique because you must be an IT type of a person that thinks about the structures <laughs> in, a, in a good way, that thinks a little bit about the structures, but you did a wonderful job with your voice tone. The other thing that I really like that you did is the way you told the story, you're really good in using your pauses. Excellent job, especially after you said bang. I mean, you said it really loud and it almost took my breath away. Now. I'm the biggest emotional person. Those of you that know me, I am so emotional. But you delivered this speech without even crying, without even a tear coming through. You delivered it like a real manly man, not like the IT people would, right? <laughs> you were very, very amazing. And the other thing is, the way you told your story, it, all week I've been hearing about stories, and each, and I'm sure all of us have, and all of them have really been unique in some different way. Yours was special. And why yours was special? Because you told it like nobody else could. It was from your eyes only, from your experience, from your manly emotions. I mean, you, were, you really came across really, really strong as you were giving your speech. If I had any suggestions to provide to you, Really, honestly, I couldn't really think of any, except maybe one. Maybe if you could share with us some of the folks that you knew there, or maybe some of uh, the um, unfortunate things that happened to some of the folks. Maybe that could have drew us in, but excellent story. I say to you, God bless you and your family, and God bless America. Mr. Contest Master.